Taylor Hawkins born February 17, 1972 in Fort Worth, Texas. He was was an American musician, widely known as the drummer for the rock band Foo Fighters, with whom he recorded nine studio albums between 1999 and 2021. Before joining the band in 1997, he was the touring drummer for Sass Jordan and for Alanis Morissette, as well as the drummer in the progressive experimental band Sylvia. In 2004, Hawkins formed his own side project, Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders, in which he played drums and sang, releasing three studio albums between 2006 and 2019. He formed the supergroup NHC with Jane's Addiction members Dave Navarro and Chris Cheney in 2020, where he also took on lead vocal and drumming duties. The band's sole album is due for release in 2022. After touring through the spring of 1996, Foo Fighters entered a Seattle studio with producer Gil Norton to record its second album. Conflict during recording reportedly erupted between Dave Grohl and drummer William Goldsmith, eventually causing Goldsmith to leave the band. The band regrouped in Los Angeles and almost completely re-recorded the album with Grohl on drums. As of 2020, Hawkins was the only drummer, aside from Neil Peart and John Rutsey, to ever play with Rush. Hawkins was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021 as a member of Foo Fighters. He was voted Best Rock Drummer in 2005 by the British drumming magazine Rhythm. He died on March 25, 2022, in Bogota, Colombia, after suffering from chest pain. The album, The Color and the Shape, was released on May 20, 1997. Grohl called Hawkins, an acquaintance at the time, seeking his recommendations for a new drummer to join the band. Grohl was under the impression that Hawkins would not leave Morissette's touring band, given she was a bigger act than Foo Fighters at the time. To Grohl's surprise, however, Hawkins volunteered to join the band himself, explaining that he wanted to be a drummer in a rock band rather than for a solo act. The band announced Hawkins would be its new drummer on March 18, 1997. In addition to his drumming with the Foo Fighters, Hawkins also provided vocals, guitar, and piano to various recordings. He performed the lead vocal on a cover of Pink Floyd's Have a Cigar. Two versions of the song were released, one is the B-side to Learn to Fly and another on the Mission, Impossible 2 soundtrack album. He later sang lead vocals on Cold Day in the Sun, From In Your Honor, which was later released as a single, as well as a cover of Cream's I Feel Free, which appeared as the B-side of DOA and on the EP Five Songs and a cover. Hawkins also sang lead vocals for the band's cover of Joe Walsh's Life of Illusion. Later, he sang lead vocals for Sunday Rain, a track on the Foo Fighters 2017 album Concrete and Gold. He sang lead vocals on some songs during Foo Fighters live shows, such as a cover of Queen's Somebody to Love on his last concert with the band. He also contributed to the band's songwriting, and was listed as a co-writer on every album since There Is Nothing Left to Lose. Hawkins and his wife, Alison, married in 2005. Together they have three children, Oliver, Annabelle, and Everly. They resided in Hidden Hills, California. Hawkins overdosed on heroin in August 2001, which left him in a coma for two weeks. Hawkins' bandmate and best friend, Dave Grohl, was beside his hospital bed in London for two weeks until he woke up. Grohl revealed in the 2011 documentary Foo Fighters Back and Forth that he wrote the song On the Mend from the band's 2005's album In Your Honor about Hawkins while he was in a coma. Speaking to Beats One host Matt Wilkinson in 2018 about the incident, Hawkins said, I was partying a lot. I wasn't a junkie per se, but I was partying. There was a year where the partying just got a little too heavy. Thank God on some level this guy gave me the wrong line with the wrong thing one night and I woke up going, what the fuck happened? That was a real changing point for me. In the same interview, Hawkins also said he was sober. On March 25, 2022, emergency services were called to the Casa Medina Hotel in Bogota, Colombia, where Hawkins was suffering from chest pain in his hotel room. Health personnel arrived and found Hawkins unresponsive, they performed CPR, but he was declared dead at the scene. He died at the age of 50. The following day, Colombian authorities announced that a preliminary urine toxicology test indicated that Hawkins had 10 substances in his system at the time of his death including opioids, benzodiazepines, tricyclic antidepressants, and THC, the psychoactive compound in cannabis. He banned announced the death of Hawkins in a statement released on Twitter on March 25, reflecting that his musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever.
On March 29, 2022, Foo Fighters cancelled all their upcoming shows. Hawkins posthumously won three Grammys with the Foo Fighters on April 3, 2022. In his 2021 memoir The Storyteller, Dave Grohl described Hawkins as my brother from another mother, my best friend, a man for whom I would take a bullet. Hawkins' final performance with the Foo Fighters before his death was at the Lollapalooza Argentina Festival on March 20, 2022.